those of you that are watching us online or everywhere, wherever you are, thank you. Well done. I won't take much of our time. I'll just tell us some few things. And I'll pray for you. But I want to take something home today that I call because of this reason. For this reason. For this reason. Jesus told us I will always preach the kingdom of God. I will never stop preaching about the kingdom of God. I will always preach the kingdom of God. In that holy city. That is, because, that is the reason why I was sent. That is for Jesus Christ. Jesus told us the reason. This is the one with which I was sent. I will preach the kingdom. The kingdom of heaven. Okay. He doesn't, he doesn't say he wants to become the president of Nigeria, the president of the world, or America. He didn't say to preach the kingdom of God. The reason why I go all over the world is to preach the kingdom of God. We look what he can. The book, the um, Luke chapter four. Look four. Luke chapter four. Forty-three. Verse forty-three. I must preach the kingdom of God to other people also. Mm. For therefore I am sent, mm. and he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. Thank you very much. Says the Bible. I will not stop preaching the kingdom of God. It doesn't think about material things. That is the reason that is so important to him. That is the thing that is important to him. I would not stop or hesitate to preach the kingdom of God to everyone because that is the reason I was sent to this earth. It, Jesus did not ask for anything materialistic, no cloth, no job, no money, nothing. What he's so um, focused on is the kingdom of God. Baba, if you say, disciple, yeah, if you are a lawyer, 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 if I met with his pastor some years back. I asked the pastor, that, that man that you made um, an evangelist in the church, when, when did he become a born again? Or is this person baptized? Does he know our Lord Jesus Christ? But the pastor answered and said, I do not know anything about but, that. I don't uh, care. Uh, I just want them to come to uh, church. Uh, but these people belong to occultic uh, fraternity. Uh, so, and they don't care. If we don't make heaven, we don't care. Pastor, I want you to want that do. Let no one say, "I say." Pastor, we go back to the old room. Oh, the pastor, oh, we are promoting. You know, we come and test you. You are okay in the life. Eh? Oh, le. Tori, I now say le ko. Now say that do. A, a particular pastor that is um, that was an adulterous, a thief in a particular church, 
I was telling this pastor that you employ this pastor and you are paying such, um, you are giving him the work of God to do. You only want him to be working in the house of God, but you don't care if he makes heaven or yes, not. Jesus himself, he was going around synagogue and he was preaching the gospel. He was moving from villages to villages. He was preaching the gospel of God. He is not particular about gathering multitude. He doesn't care about our offerings. He was doing it day in, day out. Because he was so particular about the kingdom of God. Where are you? Where, where, do, you, where do you belong? What do you want in church? What have you come to do here? Why are you called the sons and daughters of Jesus? Why do you know pastors? How do you know your pastor? How, how, why are you a good woman in church? Why are you called a choir member? Why are you an evangelist? Why are you a pastor? Why exactly did you start your ministry? Jesus Christ, his only reason is to bring people to the kingdom of God. His only thought and his only aim is about the kingdom of God. This is the reason he was sent to, the, to this world. When Jesus was doing his ministry, he did it for eternity. He was doing this for the eternity, um, the okay, eternal no life. Way. And he preached to all men. When Jesus Christ was alive, and the reason he was doing his own ministry was because of his and, and, he did, and he did all he could to end his race in eternal life. And he let everyone know the reason why everyone is called into the ministry. And that is what he has come to do on earth. The book of Mark chapter 3 Chapter verse 13. And he went up into a mountain and called unto him whom he would, mm. and they came unto him. And he ordained twelve that they should be with they should be with him, that he might send them forth to preach, and to have power to heal sicknesses, and to cast out devils, and Simon in son named Peter, and James the son of Zebed. And John, the brother of James, and his son named them Bonages, which is the sons of thunders. Mm. He called some people to himself when they went to the mountain. And he called them individually that he wants to himself. And they came to him. And he, and he chose 12 of them. So that they can live with him. So that they can be with him and he can send them out to preach the gospel. And also to be empowered to make people heal people. And to also cast out demons. To help for Jesus Christ. That is Christ Apostolic Church. That is Christ Apostolic Church. He called the people of God. Come. He prayed for them and sent them out to go preach the gospel. And also to cast out demons. 
and also destroy the power of devil and destroy the power of darkness and have dominion all over animals and also destroy the, the, um, the scorpion and the, and the snakes and this is the reason he called these people to himself that is why Peter told the lame if it is for riches you do not but in the name of Jesus get up and begin to walk and he stood up and begin to walk why oh my lady because he knew why he was going, he was following Jesus Christ. Why are you a choir member? Why are you a choir member? Okay. Why do you study your Bible? If you go to study your Bible very well, you can see that whatever Jesus was doing, his work, his attitude, whatever he says, is mainly because um, of the kingdom of God. The life he lived, he lived his life like someone going um, to heaven. He went to the mountain. And the disciple that went with him, they saw him the way he was standing. And he was changed. He was transformed. And they saw he was transformed. God showed them. This is Moses. This is Elijah beside him. And they were standing together. Jesus was transformed physically. You have been in church today. Why have you been here today? What are you doing here today? You have sung song of praises. You've danced. But don't forget. There are some other evil spirits that are sitting that are seated. I went to Birmingham one day. And I saw, and I saw something at 2 a.m. And we saw people were dancing. Uh, that was around 2 a.m. And I called my friend, a pastor. I said, let us visit them there. So they were dancing. And they were sweating profusely. Just so you know, you are not the only one singing to God. There are people from the pit of hell that are also dancing. And they also drum. They sing as well. They read their Bible too. They read Psalms. They pray in their own ways too. But but for you why exactly do you know Jesus? Is it because of this world? Or because of the eternal life? Why do we call you with Jesus? Why are we seeing you as someone with Jesus? Why do we see you in church? What is the reason why we see you in church? 
Jesus went to synagogue in order to teach them the kingdom of God. He went to mountain because of the kingdom of God. He chose his disciples so that they can preach the kingdom of God. What is the importance of you coming into the church what today? What is your purpose? What is your purpose of coming to church today? What is the purpose of you coming to church? Luke chapter 9, 9 verse 9 to 1. 9 1. Then he called his 12 disciples together 90, and gave 91. them. 91. Luke, oh, Luke 9 verse 1. Then he called his 12 disciples together mm -hmm. and gave them power and authority over devils mm. and to cure diseases. Hallelujah. He called the disciple to himself. They are 12. And he empowered them. And gave them authority. Over, um, over the devils. He gave them authority over evil spirits and also to heal people. Okay. As a pastor. As a pastor. Lady Evangelist. Lady Evangelist, Choirs. choir members, oh my joy. the church members, why were you called? Jesus took his disciples because of the kingdom of God. To preach the gospel all over the world. In his ministry. And it's this same world that he did that. It so that they can they can they can they can teach about eternal life. And one man here. The disciples. And they became so empowered and they um they became so empowered over the spirits of the devil. They were very competent to, um, to cast out demons. And also to heal diseases. And also to destroy every unclean spirit. And the Lord put upon them his armor. And they were destroying the, um, the uh, they were destroying evils. And they are loyal disciples. And they have the behavior and they have a godlike behavior. And, and they were growing in the word and in the power. And why is this um why is all of this? What is your reason? Why you follow Christ? Why? Okay. Why? 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 There was a time I was settling a, a discourse between a couple and I asked them, um, both of you, why were you saved in the first place? Please clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Why do we call you Christians? If you don't know the reason why you are called a Christian, oh, labor. You can be delivered. I may read it. I'll be taking Sally Lomuki Alagba. Coloma say Rubo. It is because you don't know why you are a Christian. That what makes some Christian to go um be sacrifice sacrifice making sacrifice to the devil. I may read it. Because you don't know why you are called. Why God called you. The pastor. That's why a pastor. That's why a pastor steals from the church. Because we don't know why we are saved. 
You go to different churches. You've been to every church and everybody knows you there. Oh, my You don't know why you are called. Jesus knew why he was here. He knew why he was sent to the world. Hallelujah. 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 Shout hallelujah. Very, very. Mama, I read it. I know why I became a Christian. I am from um, the church of baptism. Yes. I, I was from the Baptist church, but because I don't know, I couldn't find my purpose, I left that church. They did not offend me uh, in the Baptist church, but I couldn't find my purpose there. So that is the reason I left because I want to make heaven. I told my father, I told my father, uh, I asked my father the reason why he goes to church and he told me, is it not to starve God? Come back home and then you are fine. Then I told my father, you can't be starving God and also worship other idols. It is better for you to stay at home because we, we will serve the Lord. We don't care about money, food or material things. We're just focusing on heaven. If you don't know why you are coming to church, you can't, you can't be with him. I came, I know why I know him. And the reason is because I, I'm so that I can make heaven. I don't want to go through someone to get to God. I want to get to him straight forward. I want to talk with him one on one. I want to see him and also want him to see me as well. It's not, not that I want to dream and be shaken. I don't want to be scared by the devil. I can tell you most of us that are here today we don't know the reason why we come to church. If you know the reason why you are served Jesus you won't be uh, that woman that you are looking at will not be us. That spirit of stealing, you won't go near it. You won't go with the spirit of lies. Because it's a taboo. Those lies. Those lies. Those stubbornness. Those lies and dishonest. They won't, you won't be caught with them. Because you don't know why you were called. You can talk as you like. Because you don't know why. You don't know you're supposed to go to him. You don't know. You don't know you don't know that God can be close to you and you can also be close to him. 
What you are supposed to be caught doing all the time. You don't care about that. Because you don't know why you're here. Because Judas doesn't know why he was called. He betrayed Jesus. Because Jesus, uh, Judas doesn't know why he was called. He, he exposed Jesus. When I left home, God said on next Sunday, you should go to the vineyard of comfort. You should put on this particular cloth. And when it was time, the Lord said, I am waiting for you. If you come late, I will leave before you arrive. Why? Because I know the reason why I'm coming here. And what he told me, he, he must meet me here. That day that you know why you're called, that's when you cry no more. That's when you cry no more. That's a pity. We have, we have, we have a lot of people that cry unto God. People that can fast till eternity but because you don't know why you are you are called you don't know why you are here that's why these prayers are not being answered why, why did i become a disciple of jesus you have to think about it today why 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 was i called Someone called me and said, Baba, you should be a, a musician, a singer. You should be um, uh, producing cassettes and records. But I said, no, because that was not the reason I was called. I want you to search yourself. Why? What is the reason you're called? What is the reason you are saved? Are you even saved at all? Please think about it. Jesus knew why he was sent here on earth. He knew. That's why he's not scared of death. Because he knew why he was here. He said it. I know why I was sent here. This is the reason for which I was sent. There shouldn't be any disciple of Christ that should not know why they accept Jesus. No Christian on earth. The day I accepted Jesus, I stood up and the, for altar call and I got home. I said, oh, I'm a born again. I, I was happy and celebrating. I, I, was, I told my neighbor, I told my roommate that I'm now a born again. She said, yeah, I have accepted Jesus Christ too. 
But he said, I'm going to sleep in a brothel tonight. I said, I'm a born, I've become a born again. And I said, we'll no longer share this room. I will sleep in the passage. He said, why? I said, I'm okay with that. I don't want to, I don't want to lost my purpose. My friend said, he has a, a friend who is a sinner and a lady. One day, my friend came to a service and he went to tell the woman I won't be able to go with you to the Habali's house. And because we won't be friends anymore. But I'll be talking to you. Kennedy. Why? When, what, when have you been thinking about this? Be because I have seen and I have known the reason I am a Christian. Please clap for Jesus. And he became, he, he became free that day. What? Look, these scorpions, they know your secrets. The, the kingdom of the darkness knows. Know. Even the battle from your father's house know your secrets. That spirit of barrenness knows your secrets. Because they know you are not, you are not competent enough that is why they are frustrating you. Ah, the devil can really frustrate you. I'm a fool, I can really beat you up. Your Once you don't know the reason or your purpose as a Christian. I went to preach in a crusade. And we're coming back home. And then I had a, uh, a very new car. This is a brand new car and the car stopped while we were going. Why? I said, what happened? And I prayed to God. The, the God told me that that car is actually in perfect condition but your children put some trouble in this car. And if, stayed, if you stay too long where you are, the kidnappers will meet you here. Ask them who, who, who is that person that brought a forbidden thing? Somebody brought something in here. And one pastor said, When we were coming, those, the people in the city, they, the offering that they collected from that city, I took it from them and I put it in the car. And I told him to get down. When he was, as he was getting down from the car, the car started working. I told him to go return their money. I know the purpose of that crusade that I've gone to do there. But I can never deceive you. Oh Lord, Lori Ayere, Lai Lai. It might be difficult for you to believe, but God can never make mistake over your life. Maronusi, be, um, be thoughtful about this. Is this Jesus Christ with you at all? Say, what is so ready, Are you sure you've not lost your purpose? This is why. Ah, 
And this is why every trouble, battles, and the works of enemy are surrounded, are surrounding you. Apostle Babalola. Prophet Babalola. Apostle Babalola. Again, it's a fee. He said, I say, to select, he bella. Oh, menera, lower issue. Lower, me issue. At the grow lower, he can do. He genia. At the grow lower, he damn much you are. Apostle Babalola is a, some, is, was someone that was given the ministry of healings and deliverance. What's he brought to And he's two by them. Ape Apostle Peteru. Paul Apostle. Paul the Apostle. And Peter. And Peter. Ape one. They were called. Because of the Jews. The book of Galatia. Chapter 2. Verse 7 and 8. But contrawise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, mm. as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, for he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me towards the Gentiles. For he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me towards the Gentiles. Clap for Jesus. They were called because of the Jews. To take them out of their old ways. And to destroy all the works and powers of the devil. Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul was called. Because of the Gentiles. Galatia 1. Verse 15. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. From my from my mother's womb, I've been chosen to preach to the Gentiles. When God pleases. Because me or buy ara ati eje e pa so nje soluwa please clap for jesus mo ba gbi ma po i did not move with the blood and flesh ara o le da ndu o eje o si le da mi du o flesh and blood can stop me. me i would do it as i was sent by god can you see apostle paul lu mo pe ara on nitori ke nperi apostle paul knew that he was sent because of the gentiles <laughs> Why? What is the purpose of coming to church today? Out of Apostle 22-21. Out of Apostle 22-21. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far hands unto the Gentiles. Mm. And they gave him audience unto this word. And then lifted up their voices and said, Away with such a fellow from the earth, for it is not fit that it should live. Amen. Amen. Oh, if you want my Lord, to live me now, she won't come free. Look at it, and why came free, Lana Paul. See, that was the um, Yoruba version of the Bible that we just read.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sherry. Anyone who doesn't know why he was sent, he'll so just be running elter skelter. Whatever that he or she is not supposed to see or do is what he or she will be doing. Whatever is not supposed to eat is what he or she will be eating. Causes are the one that person will be seen as blessing and that will lead such person to hell. Please think about this. What is the purpose? Please be on your feet. You want everyone to be on your feet. It is because you don't know the purpose for, uh, by which you are called. You can't even pray by yourself. You can't pray by yourself and uh, have the prayer answered. Please clap for Jesus. There are lots of people along the way to the kingdom of God, but Jesus did not see a lot of them. There are lots of people that are drowned already. Because they don't know the purpose for which they are called. If Judas had knew why he was called and the purpose of his being a disciple with God, he was called. He was, he was given a ministry. He was empowered and authority over the spirit of the devil and over every unclean spirit. He was able to have a position in the in the midst of Jesus Christ. He was opportuned to be with Jesus. We called him an apostle. Someone that was called and sent. He had an apostolic calling. He to uh, perform miracles. He cast out demons. In the name of Jesus Christ, he cast demons out. But because he didn't know the purpose for which he was called, and he lost the call. And he was replaced by someone else. Please put your hands on your head. I want you to, to be attentive. I begin to ask yourself, what is the purpose? Why they are calling, why they are calling me a child of God? Baba. Sir. A Judas. And Jesus knew he was going to be destroyed at the end of the at the end of his ministry, he wouldn't have done that. Please stretch forth your hands. Stretch forth your hands. And open your eyes. A lot of people that have been baptized. They don't even know why. They don't know why they follow Jesus. They died and they were buried. They were buried by, by, by the demons. By, by the idol. By idols. They were buried by idols. A lot of people that were called, they were speaking fire 
they have fire <inaudible> but because they don't know the purpose by which they are called <inaudible> they didn't die <inaudible> but we didn't hear from them anymore you know how many people that you have, have joined together in matrimony because they don't know the purpose they were, they were going because they don't know the purpose but eventually they got separated from each other please stretch forth your hands there are lots of Christians they've been to this church in the past. if they know the reason why they were here in the first place they wouldn't have gone to prison they could have waited till God will do it Saul, if King Saul oh had knew the purpose, his purpose, Amaleki, why he was sent to the Amalek, Amalekites, he wouldn't bring some animals back home. My he wouldn't have lost his crown. But Saul, but because he's lost his purpose, purpose the head of Am the Amal Amalekai was avenged on him. There was, one, there was one of our mothers that sweep the church all the time. The son called her and told her to stop doing that. Only mama. But she and, said no. She knows why me. she does that. And, me. and she told he told her his mom Love that the mom was blessing him. Lo so lo lo and he took the mother from so that, from from that city to another mom. one because he doesn't want the mom to be sweeping the church. After uh, the six church. months. And after six months, what he was fired from his job. They said he, he, uh, he has cancer and he was taken to America. Was operation. They, he was operated upon. He couldn't poop. He couldn't walk. He couldn't talk. The mother said she didn't know what was wrong with him. They said he's the... Um, but the father, the enemies from the father's house. But the father, the God. Okay. He said, "Wole, he said, follow me, pile. Oni, he le moment ba so si ekpa da si church. Elo mo ba le. Ojo to be si ba le ba. O kuni e di de. A vision came, and the mother was told to go back and continue to sweep the church. And the, and the son was ill. After, the, after three years that he has been out of job, the, that, that actual company, the company called him back. Because the mother went back to the purpose. And that was the, the purpose was sweeping the church. What is your purpose? What's the purpose of becoming the member of this church? Please lift up your hands. No way, it's okay. Lift up your hands. Can it be? Why? Why did I become uh, a member of this church? Can it be? Why? What is the reason I said Jesus? You're the only one I'll serve. No way, it's okay. Stretch for um, raise up your hand. Lord, I, I am here this afternoon. Come back to my life. Did you ever close your eyes? You that you know, you have lost your purpose. Don't let me deceive you. I am sent to you this morning. Begin to come to the front. My gosh, All lies closed. If you know you've lost your purpose, the reason why you are, are born again, the reason why you I'm are a saved, please begin to come to the front. My now. Rossible, my 
Quickly come to the front, please. All eyes closed. Mabo, Mabo, Mabo. Mabo, Mabo, Mabo. Please keep coming. because of people because of their attitude because of our material things you've lost your purpose you've lost your purpose you've lost focus you've lost the reason why Jesus died for you you lost it You better come out now. Mondodi ao. I got here ready that is son. Microphone yi I got here ready that son. Egbo. They've taken the angels away. The day Saul lost his purpose. Listen. His crown was lost. It became a sorcerer. Please lift up your hand. Where is the purpose of my salvation? And that woman knew that she has lost it. But she's not coming out. You can't come out. I pity you. I pity you. Blessing can wait. Gift Gift can wait. Can wait. But spirit of God can go. But the spirit of God can go. The spirit of God can go. The purpose can leave. If they fall speaking in tongue can wait. Money can stop. The staff of office can leave. You that I am standing this morning, please come out. If you know that the power of prayer has left you, you don't see God like before. You can't even talk to God like before. That is the example that God has left your life. Please come out right now. <laughs> That place where God lives in your life is gone. He has gone, he has relocated from your life. Please be on your knees. You are now someone who they mess up. I feel like crying for you. It's okay. Please lift up your face. The purpose has you know, gone. I hear in the life of Samson, and his eyes were plucked out. Who can ever do that to him when he has the presence Talo of God? Tobe. Who can do that to him when he has that power? Second, la Oh, oh. 
Lift up your hands. Lord, deliver me today. Heal me, Lord. I am sick. Return my purpose to me. Lift up your hands, please. And put it down. Put up, put down your hand. Mommy. Mommy. My brother. What? I walk. A couple had four children. A couple have they have uh, four children. And they lost the purpose. And the four children died the same day. A graduates. They are graduates. They want to go um refresh in America. They want to go eat pepper soup in, in America. And they ran through the Say red timber, light. Timber, they go in and they were hit by a truck. And they, they, they cool over one. And they lost the purpose. They they one. The purpose of their parents were lost. No, okay. Raise up your hands. Monsai, sir. I am sick, Lord. Die, they die, my father. Return my purpose to me, God. Timothy, son. The purpose that I have lost, God return them to me. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 this woman, you're supposed to kneel down. This person. So that the Lord can, in his mercy, return to you. Call the name of Jesus Christ. Return my purpose. Oh, yo, 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 yo. In the name of Jesus. Lord, return my purpose. The purpose that I have lost. Lord, return it to me. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Yes, Oluawa. In Jesus' name. Ewo. Look. I want Mary so ready. The children of Eli lost their purpose. Obo son lowo won. And they lost it. And the mi joba alufa ku oni le won. And the priesthood was taken from their family. I want ira Eli. The priesthood was taken from the um, from the lineage of Eli. The covenant of priesthood is what God gave to that family. God left that family. Please pray this. No, pray it's okay. No, it's okay. Please lift up your hands. Lord, come. Come back one more time. Because of the because of the death, because of, death, because of the purpose that you came to this world. Come back into my life one more time. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yes, yes, yes. Call the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, come back, Jesus Christ, come back to my life one more time. Because of your death, because of your death on the cross of Calvary. Because of the reason for which you manifest on this earth, oh God. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. These people come back into their lives. Return their purpose. Renew their life. Return the angels to them. That grace return it once more. For another with mercy, Lord, return it. Father, because of your death, return it. Return it by your blood, O God. Return that covenant. Return the grace that has been taken. Be on your feet. Just stay where you are. Return the grace that has been taken. See, once you lost the purpose, then the th trouble will come. Oh. Look. When that purpose left the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve were pushed out of the Garden of Eden. Samson's eyes were removed. He was a great warrior. If I were you, 
will go into fasting tomorrow. I want to have my purpose back. You are going to pray that particular prayer point like ah! Raise up your hand. God return the grace, the ancient grace into my life. That grace that I lost return it into my life. Mommy said, What? Ori of her? Ori of her teacher? I be your son. Only now it's okay. Please raise up your hand. Ori of her teacher. That grace like the old. Lord, return it into my life. Return that grace to me. Those angels have been taken from me. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Go, 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 Please begin to pray, 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 pray. Oh, leg by Dua. Begin to pray. Continue to pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Tell me. Please stretch forth your hands. Are you blessed? You have not prayed very well. Return that grace back to me. Please stretch, um, lift up your hands. There was a time you don't even know what is called suffering. Oh, yeah. You have never seen suffering in the past. When you have that opportunity, you call the name of Jesus Christ one. You said, God that is mighty and ah. powerful. Return the covenant of the old to me. Oh, yo, 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 go, 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 Yes, in Jesus' name. Stretch forth your hands. And begin to say amen. These people come back to their lives. The purpose that for which they come to church. The purpose that they believe in you, God. So that they can step, they can trample on scorpions and snakes. So they can destroy the devil in battle. They've lost these things. Lord, for this reason, this morning, Father, return it to them. Grace like the old time. Receive it. Jesus did not lost his purpose on t- even when he was going on the cross. He wasn't scared of death because he believed in the kingdom of God. Yes, he was not scared of death. Stephen was killed because of the kingdom of God. A lot of apostles were beheaded because of this kingdom. Because of truth, John the Baptist was beheaded. And I pray now the mercy that have been lost because you lost your purpose begin begin to receive it. Receive mercy in all ways. 
The purpose begins to manifest upon your life. In your, on your job, on your children, on your husband, on your business, on your dream, and in your vision, you will not be put to shame. You will not miss the kingdom of God. And you will have peace of mind. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, you want to go with um, Evangelist Nii Molake? Thank you. I tell you what. Just hold on a minute. I tell you what. Please go this way. You want to go to, with um, the Evangelist. If you are shy. If you are shy. Please clap for Jesus. If you believe God is alive, get up and shout one hallelujah. Pastor Fella. Mommy. When you're not alone, you question what you Yeah, me, sir. Oh, really, me? Yeah. Okay. Talk about your enemy, me, so I do best of. That is your enemy. You won't say, Barney. That is just for the pastor and his family. I want my In the olden days, when we pray for the pastors, the congregation is supposed to be on their feet. But because you are, we are in the Bible, Canada is not eternal life, so please be on your feet. Amen. 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 
Lati Toronto of Ayoneba. Amen. Koni Baya. Amen. Koni Boma. Amen. A philosophy, I allow ballet. Amen. Go where you come away, or you only babble. Amen. And you follow you. Amen. And you are like, Amen. And you are less. Amen. And it's someone who. Amen. And it's a young one. Amen. Go and run and look here. Hallelujah. As of a lamb was off, we pay, we pay. Can you enjoy? Can you buy rabble? I told you. That's your Sukeji, or Suketa, or Sukari, Sukaro, Sukefa. You know, enjoy. Every Sunday, Emma Ba, Emma Ba. Every Sunday, Larry said, You may want. Emma, you're your kind, like Ba. Never be lonely, I do. Egg bad raw. Egg too bad raw. If you are going to Papa, a job, pray. Never be lonely, Nigeria. Especially if you want to go to Nigeria, you Egg have to pray hard. Bra. You have to really pray hard. I have delivered this message. How you do The Lord will be with you. How can you see Bali? How your day job We will make heaven hey, together. Sammy. We will make heaven together. Say Amen. And it don't pay here, could you call it? The Lord that called you will not so leave you. Just to see in our Jesus' name. And hey, today, and you are calling, and my boy, what you are buying, and your sir, the ushers, the choir, and my boy, what you are buying, and your protocol, huh? all church workers, and my boy, what you are buying, all church workers, please come to the front. Walk out to, to walk in you. You say walk out, you walk in you. Walk out, you say they did it on you. Walk out that has not lost is our purpose. Please come forward. Walk out to that I look you. Walk out, if you are, the one that are sure of themselves. Walk out, you will like you say. Student department. Student, send the student in Bini. Children. Okay, so to come alone. Okay. Tell us what you say, what can I say? Okay. Those people that are actually performing the duty of workers. So, Tell us, Jerry. Can you say? Manaka log with value. Wow. Told him your loma buruku. So said, dear, dear. Sell it for ten percent. Hello, Levu. Eighty. A guy by out of Quaco said that too. Oh, we are you. Oh, my, she said that. I look my bed. Tell me about for your mark. If I want to give you mark, I'll give you three percent. Tell what? Please stretch forth your hands. So, what can you? Are you a walkers? Never lower. Packing lot. No, to do. Benny. I don't need no. Amen. Yahweh, you know. Sister Okpe. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like. So she said. Eto wo. E wo. E re mbe no ke yon se fo lo. Group me ge mo wa. I was in seven groups. Seven group. I was in seven groups in church. In church. Every meeting. Me, Monday, Tuesday, Every Wednesday, meeting, Friday, Friday. weekly ah. meeting, morning, evening, and night. Landlord, the landlord said I rented the house, but I wasn't sleeping at home. I said I don't need to sleep. They said um, the workers should um, go on 21 days fast. That we must not meet the meet Lord the 
and at the end of the vigil it was a, there was a heavy rain there was this um, there was this rain the, the, one. the one that steals from you people slept people that were supposed to go to the vigil they they said they were okay with the 20 days vigil they, they wouldn't go for the last one I was the only one that showed up for the last one. I got to church and there was no one there. The gate man said, you were here every day. Why are you here again? You don't even sleep in your house. I said, the church doesn't belong to anyone. I said, I said the church belongs to everyone so you can do whatever you like you can show up at any time when he was at 12 at 12 a.m. I did the vigil to 3 a.m. And I, and I saw the vision I saw Baba Kiele and I saw Baba Lola and I saw Jesus Christ behind them. And they came into the church. Baba Kiele said, Ha! These, these children refused to come. Baba Prophet Baba Lola said, They were sleeping because of this day. Stupid sleep. Jesus said, If we can see one of them, and they saw me on the altar. And I sat down. And I said, Welcome, sir. 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 I saw this vision in the year 1987. And Prof. Baba Baba Lola placed his hand on my head. Baba Kiele did the same. Yes, we pray. And Jesus said, It dipped his hand in his pocket. He dipped his hand in his pocket. That's right. And he was putting on the kind of this cloth. That's why I don't put on this cloth anyhow. Because that was the same thing he was putting on. And he, and he brought out oil. And he gave it to Apostle Babalola. And they poured it on me, on my head. And they left a little bit in the bottle. Yes, we pay. Jesus said. But one will not need. He said it belongs to all of them. Super. But. Because we couldn't find the others. They didn't come. He said release everything upon him. And he, the old oil was poured on me. Baba Kiyaleni. Baba Kiyale said. E Ezekiah. We will call you prophet in this church. And that was 1988. You alone will walk like 100 people. And they left. And I woke up. And where I actually slept was filled with oil. More for and there was Woman. and there was oil on me i washed it. it i washed it but it, it wouldn't leave. And said to and it said, See, can you wait can you uh, be um, can you can you accept to be ridiculed can you accept to be lied against? Can you, can you accept to be mocked? To be embarrassed? Can you do that? Can you do that for God? Jesus was stabbed by his side. He didn't say yea. He was crowned. He was given the crown of tongue. He didn't complain. He was beaten. Who can ever do that? But because of his resurrection, he, he endured it. Are you ready to endure? Move are, you, are, you, are you ready to endure? Can you endure it? Can you? And I need you to answer me. Can you do that? God will help you. 
stretch forth your hands. In Jesus' name. This is what you are going to do. Receive power. Receive Holy Spirit. Receive the power of fire. You will not receive the arrow of death. We will not touch your children. In this country, you will make it. You will not be afraid. Your head will not abhor evil. You will be, you'll be multiplied. You, you begin to expand. You begin to shine. You will be my apostle. Your head will not abort evil. You will not become miserable. You will have rest. This church will begin to prosper. Wherever the Lord is taking you, you will get there. You will be joyous. Every battle against you shall be swallowed up. You will be, you will be victorious and will thank God. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And shout one hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Sherry, me, it's your Friday. On Friday, I want to roll in the evening, I heard this sound, this voice like a thunder. Abba. Son, Lord boy, me. go and feed my church. That was on Friday. Please are along. I should preach the word of God King and pray. Only feed my people. I said, I said, where will I get the food from? He said, if you refuse to give to feed them, he said, the journey that you have come won't be accepted by me. This, the money that you That's want to spend. Me. He said, so keep that money aside. Feed my people. As little what as the say, food is, I have, I have prepared the food. I have done my part. I don't know. Everything that has become possible, write it down. After this, after this service shall be possible. I don't know why. When I came, the Lord asked me to ask your pastor. Do you uh, raise an altar of praise for me in this church? Oh, I and I asked Pastor. The Lord says, in this church, once in a year, praise international. you have to keep doing praise international as a program. Is that not good? Praise. Praise. You dance through, you just, if you like, call all musicians and singers all over the world. You have, to be, you have to feed people on this day. You have to eat and dance and sing. The Lord said, once you start, nobody will cry in this church anymore. God will be with you. Yes, I mean. yes. Who is happy here? You will not be put to shame. We will make heaven together. Yes, I mean. Say amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.